Welcome to ADA tutorial number 14. To cover 2.2.2 pause, stop or hide content success criteria of WCAG. This success criterion applies to the content that automatically moves, blinks, flashes, scrolls, and auto-update. This type of content on the web distracts the user's interaction with a web page. So, there should be a mechanism to pause, stop or hide it. Moving, blinking, and scrolling refers to content in which the visible content conveys a sense of motion. Content that moves or auto-updates can be a barrier to anyone who has trouble reading a static text quickly and anyone who has trouble tracking moving objects. It can also cause problems for screen reader users. Moving content can also cause a distraction for some people. Therefore, such content should have a mechanism to pause, stop, or hide so the user can accomplish their task on the web. Flashing content is very dangerous to people with specific disabilities. It can trigger a seizure. Flashing content cannot be allowed for a second or could cause a seizure. If the blinking content blinks faster than three blinks per second, it would also be considered flash, which is not allowed at all. Examples of 2.2.2 success criteria. Example 1. A website has an animation to demonstrate a process have, pause, and, restart. Buttons to avoid distraction. Example 2. A web advertisement banner blinks to get the user's attention. It should not blink for more than 5 seconds, and its speed should not be fast. If it blinks too fast, 3 or more blinks per second, then it can cause a seizure. Example 3. To get more users to submit the information via a form on a website, an arrow blinks next to the submit button after a user finishes filling out the form. This blinking should stop after 5 seconds. Summary If your website has content that moves, blinks, scrolls, or auto-update, then there should be options provided to pause, stop, or hide it.